Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and welcome back to Palette Throwback Thursdays. In today's video, I am pairing together the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs Palette with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Abbott Kinney. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I pair these two products together, then just keep on watching. So really quick while I put on my eye primer, I filmed a couple videos the other day and I did a palette throwback Thursday and then I did a um, cream shadow declutter. And I said in my cream shadow declutter that I had one more palette throwback Thursday to film, which is today's video. And then, um, so I had one cream shadow that I wasn't going to like do anything with in that video pretty much. And I was gonna kind of see how it went today and decide from there. Well, I pulled it out of my collection today to, you know, set everything up for filming. And I made the decision that I am just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. So it's not Abbott Kinney, it's actually the shade Drift. Um, it's just a little bit too dry and like not the vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that and we're gonna use Abbott Kinney today. Also, as is the case when I film on most Thursday mornings, not that you guys would know what day I film this, but I'm filming today on Thursday morning. Uh, as is the case on most Thursday mornings, I am battling against the um, gardening people. So, you know, bear with me on that. It sounds like they're on the other side of the complex at the moment, so I think we should be okay, but. All right, so jumping into the Love Signs palette, which by the way, I sanitized the other day. And as I was like wiping like that palette part of it clean, a lot of the like graphics started like coming off. I find that very weird. Anyways, I'm gonna start off with a bigger fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the matte Pisces shape and start building that up on my inner crease. I almost didn't film today because I have approximately 76,000 fucking things to do. But most of them I can't do until after my husband is up and off to work anyway, so. I figured I'll just film quickly in the morning before he's even awake. Plus I'm actually, I'm so basically, not that you guys care, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna film this video. I'm gonna actually take my husband to work because we only have one car at the moment. So I'm gonna take him to work because I have some other errands to run like later this evening, like outside errands. <laughs> the whole reason why I was like, I'm gonna film today anyway. Like I don't care what else I have to do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna prioritize filming is because I'm also filming a palette declutter and I am very excited to do that because I haven't filmed a palette declutter ever actually I think the only like decluttering of my palettes that I ever did was in my first round of palette throwback Thursdays I like I would use a palette and then I would decide decide at the end of the video like am I keeping this or am I getting rid of it kind of thing so but I'm actually doing like a formal, legitimate, like palette declutter today. And I'm pretty excited about it. All right, next up, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the matte Taurus shade and use that to kind of intensify my crease. All right, and then last but not least for the palette, I want a shade that's not this warm and not this cool. So I'm actually gonna take my finger and I'm gonna dip back and forth between um, Cancer and Libra and I'm gonna blend them together on my finger and I'm gonna put them on like the inner third of my eye. Perfect. And then really quick before I jump over to the Super Shock, I am just going to take my um, like brow setting shade and I'm going to put it right where that shimmer ends and like not all the way to the outer corner, but most of the way there. All right. And then last but not least, this is going to be a major like trust the process kind of thing. I'm going to take Abbott Kinney from ColourPop on my finger. And I'm going to blend this up like this, 
kind of like as if it was a smoky wing. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna take like a makeup wipe and clean it up. See, like I said, trust the process. And we're gonna continue to trust the process until the eyes are done. I'm gonna jump off and put on a little bit of base and I'll do my under eyes off of camera, but literally all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Abbott Kenny and I'm gonna sm like smudge it underneath my lash line and connect it up to the top. So that's where I'm at. But I'm gonna go do all of that and I will be right back. All right, I'm aware that I look absolutely fucking insane at the moment. This is gonna, it's a really big just trust the, trust the process day, okay? I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer. This one is in the shade I'll Bet. And I'm actually gonna use a sponge today on this. Mostly because the first, this is like the second time I've used this and the first time I used a sponge, so. As much as I wanna be like, trust the process, like I know how this works with a sponge, so I'm gonna use a fucking sponge. The nice thing about this bronzer though is that it goes over um, like powder pretty easily. I do need to take up my powder on my chin a little bit more when I'm all like done. I do love how like wash of color this bronzer is. Like it's not overwhelming. Keep trusting the fucking process for me guys, please. I beg you. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks um, Soft Chi Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse in the shade Nude Tude. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand, like that. And then grab my sponge, kind of work it into the sponge. Again, it looks like it's really dark below my cheekbone. That's just because that area is like still completely unset. I'm gonna keep trusting the process, please. How many times am I gonna fucking say that? All right, next up, I'm gonna take the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Blush in the shade Spiced Petal. And then next up, I'm gonna go in with the, if I can get it open, the Milani Baked Blush in the shade, Dol or Baked Bronzer in the shade Dolce. All right, now is when trusting the process starts to come together. Um, I'm gonna take my powder foundation and a really loose fluffy brush and I'm just going to start softening up these edges just a little bit, which I'm also seeing I need to do that with my eyeshadow as well. I will say that it's something to do with this particular powder foundation because I have a couple other powder foundations that I will do this exact same step process with and I don't have those same like, I look fucking insane moments. So I think this powder foundation is just a little bit I don't know, off for what I like to do. It works all out, all out in the end, but. All right, next up in trusting the process, just some glowy powder. I think this powder foundation just lays on a little bit thicker than my other ones. I want to try the, because that's the L'Oreal um, Infallible one, I want to try the L'Oreal Age Perfect one, but every picture I've seen of it looks like, they all just look super yellow. So I have to like, I need to see them in person. Okay, see, we're already looking so much better, aren't we? It's all coming together now. As if I wasn't already blushy enough as it is, I'm gonna take the Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze and just a very little amount of this, just like right here. I just really like the tone of this and I kind of want that sheen. Something about like 
a blush topper so like a colored but really glowy blush on the tip of my nose just mm, love it so much i feel like that's one of those things that's like people either love it or they absolutely fucking hate it i love it that didn't add too much but just it it added something that needed to be there and then the thing that's really gonna just it's gonna tie it all together and it's just gonna make it look so good highlight I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Skin Lights Highlight in Daybreak Glimmer. See, I'm happy again. It was a little rough, rough for a second there, but I'm happy again. So, I am going to jump off and finish up the rest of my face. For my lips, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Peachy Beige, and I will be back to show you guys the final look. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I actually am so happy with the way that it turned out. <laughs> like, listen, I can talk all day long and be like, oh, trust the process, trust the process, but even when my makeup looks like that and I'm like, I, I can fix it, like, there's still that part of me that's just, like, a little bit nervous and just like, ah, did I fuck everything up? So, I'm very happy with how my makeup turned out. I think that I could have maybe done a little bit more with Abbott Kinney, but I'm not mad regardless. I like the way that it turned out. So, that is going to wrap up my palette throwback Thursday using the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Sign palette and the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Abbott Kinney. And that is actually going to also completely wrap up my palette throwback Thursdays using cream shadows. So I am completely done, which is so exciting. Next Thursday is actually not going to be a palette throwback Thursday video. Um, it's going to be a shot my stash. And I'll kind of, I know I'm going into October and I have been talking about how previously, like, oh, I was going to take a break from palette throwback because I'm going to, you know, do Halloween stuff. I'm going to talk about it more in that video, why I'm not doing only Halloween stuff next week, next month. I'm kind of dialing it back a little bit, but next week is going to be a shot my stash video. The following week will be my palette uh, declutter and then right into regular palette throwback Thursdays using literally just a palette. So comment down below and let me know how you would use these two products together. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.